I'm in the Yorkshire Dales for the next few days. The first time I've been here. Uh, today's walk goes up to Wernside from the campsite, which is back down the road. I want to try and do Ingleborough and Pennigan in individual walks. I've got five days up here and I've planned seven walks to do, so I need to eliminate two of those from my list. I can always do more next time. I feel it's important to tickle the big three, Ingleborough, Pennigan and Wernside. Wernside being the highest today, but also closest to my campsite at Felpin Farm. So I arrived last night, or in the late afternoon. It's quite a long drive up here from Somerset because the M5 was partially closed near Gloucester. But I'm finally here. The forecast is quite good for the next few days. It was quite cloudy up here when I arrived last night. Much of that is clearing as I look around now. This walk's about 10 miles long, nothing more than that. And I'm going up to Wernside and then back down via Ribblehead Viaduct, which I can just see over to my right. Yeah, fairly straightforward walk and an easy introduction to the Dales. For this morning at least, I am following the official Three Peaks route up to Wernside. It's fairly well way marked, I'm quite surprised by that because it's not marked on the OS map for some reason. I think this, this section is part of the Pennine journey as well. Not the Pennine way, a Pennine journey. So there are quite a few lesser known trails in this area I've noticed on the map. A nice, fairly gentle start so far, but I can see ahead of me there's quite a bit of up to go. And of course, going to the highest point in Yorkshire, it's not going to be that easy for too long, is it? Okay, I'm following a, a limestone staircase that follows the main Three Peaks path. It's getting quite tough suddenly. And there's very little breeze in this valley, or dale I should say. A pretty good views all around so far. It's a good thing this path is here. Otherwise with the foot traffic that goes through here, it'd be quite, quite a threat to the environment and the erosion. Many, many hours of volunteer work and manpower. And behind me, I've got a good view still of Ingleborough over to the right there. The cloud or clag is clearing from over there as well. I'll be going there in two days' time, I reckon. I've been walking now for almost an hour and I'm not too far from the summit of Wernside. Things are levelling out a bit more along this almost ridge top. Over to the west I can see, I think that's tomorrow's walk over that way on that ridge line. And the east again you've got the northern end of Ingleborough. And I'm suddenly about level with the cloud over there which is quite interesting. I don't know if you can see that. Up ahead there should be a trig point, so it's 736 metres, the highest point in Yorkshire Dales. So 
So that was Wern's side, very briefly. It was kind of busy around here, I didn't stay too long. Had a cup of tea, didn't do much filming though. If I've done my research correctly, then that will be the highest point of my entire stay here in the five day dur duration. So looking west from here, I believe that's the ridge of Gragarith, one of the summits called, where I'm going tomorrow. A short drive up that way to do that walk. And beyond there, I believe you've got the Hogwill. Is it Hogwill or Howgill? Howgill Fells. And then just beyond them would be the Lake District. So it's, that's how close I am really to the Lake District, which I was going to go to alternatively, but I'm saving that for a, a trip with at least one friend, ideally. But I still want to go there at some point. And my other feeling was that however busy it gets here in the Yorkshire Dales, it would be much busier any time of year in the Lake District. There was a guy I passed up on Wern's side, a bit younger than myself, I reckon. He set himself the challenge of walking the full three peak circuit, which is 25 miles in no more than six hours. And good luck to him. That sounds like a serious challenge. Most do it in between nine or 10 from what I've read. Yeah, so he started walking at seven o'clock in the morning, meaning he should be over halfway by the time he got to Wern's side. I had my own sort of passive interest in doing the three peaks walk before, but as I say, it's 25 miles long, or thereabouts, and I'd rather have several easier days rather than one long day and then have to lose part of my other four days, if that makes sense. And it's the same with Ben Nevis, Scarfell Pike and Snowden. I'd rather do them as and when I can rather than doing them all in one hit, just for the sake of a challenge. And I've done Snowden, of course, and one day I'll get to do Ben Nevis and even Scarfell Pike. So I've come east, down and away from Great Nelpbury Hill, and I've passed probably 20 other walkers going the other way. It's quite something. But I'm gradually getting towards the viaduct. And to be honest, it's going to be quite a short walk, it seems. I'll be done before mid-afternoon at this rate. I was thinking on my way down earlier that this area reminds me of something between the Brecon Beacons and the Peak District. It's less Brecon Beacons in the way that most of the landscape is limestone, like the Peak District, and it's also less less busy than you expect to find at the Penavan and all that sort of thing. And in a way, it's a bit like the, the Barrowin Mountains in mid Wales. Quite remote and isolated, but rugged enough. But on a weekend, I imagine it's much busier up here. So Wern's side is up there, where I was earlier on, probably an hour and a half ago. I'm now following the Dales Highway, which is a very busy route so far, um, towards Ingleborough. The railway is down away to my right, you can't quite see it, but I'm going to stop near the viaduct with in better view have some lunch, think about whether I go back to the campsite or try and push on for a longer walk.
just coming to the end of my walk now. Had my lunch by the viaduct and I've probably got no more than two miles to go to get back to the campsites. Um, thank you for watching the video. Hope you've enjoyed it and I do recommend you come to Yorkshire Dales yourself and walk in this area or somewhere like it because it's it's really quite impressive. So I was thinking about possibly climbing up to I think it's Park Fell on the end there and then all the way to Ingleborough but and I quite like the idea of having even just one more walk where I can leave the car alone just head off on foot all day so I'm going to save it but you can only do so much in so much time and it's easy to try and cram too much in 